Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about a very odd issue, and the odd issue is Alpha Investments has said multiple times that he is not going to go to any Grand Prix, which have been rebranded as Magic Fest. But I really think he should go. Um, his best video content, and actually some of his most frequent video content, uh, the videos that he saves for over a year to post during the holiday season, where the ad revenue is the highest, so he knows that they're going to get the most views are from GP Vegas. And I'm actually surprised at how much content he was able to get from a GP. I mean, I went to a GP Houston and I shot some stuff, but then I didn't even up, end up uploading it because it was so boring. So he really does bring an entertainment value. And I think he does have a, uh, you could put a money value on him coming there because it would actually deliver X amount of people who would normally not go to a Magic Fest and would go just to see him. And this is another discussion that we had in the past about Magic artists and, you know, the popular artists did not sign the, uh, they're still going to go. Uh, Steve Argal and all these Teresa Nielsen, they didn't sign the letter saying that we want better we want better accommodations because honestly, they probably make enough money selling their stuff. Now, that's the same with Alpha Investments. Who would you rather see? Wedge, Junior Cheeseburger, or Alpha Investments? And I would say Alpha Investments. Therefore, Channel Fireball is really doing a disservice to their customer base who's paying out the nose to be there. Well, assuming that they're at the main event or at side events, they actually would be much better off sending alpha investments there, especially the content production, right? Look at how much content is being produced from one GP and then look at other content creators who are being paid to be there and how many, um, so Tolarian Community College and the Manor Source are very good examples of creators who were paid. Um, so. They both were, at least Wedge was paid to go to Star City Con. I haven't seen a video about it. I mean, outside of a post, a tweet about it that goes to nobody. Uh, maybe Donald Trump. Maybe he tweeted Donald Trump that, meet me at Star City Con, Donald. And uh, maybe something along the lines of that. But yeah, this is a clear case. Um, there was an event called Carmageddon. And Carmageddon was, the concept of it was... It was in Las Vegas, and they were going to pay all these celebrities. I remember Brian Kibler. They paid him to be there, but they didn't pay him to promote it. Therefore, like when you look at his tweets and stuff, he was like gambling, he was casino, he was doing slots, he was doing everything but being at Car Mageddon. So they paid for all these celebrities, and I have, I mean, a whole list of them, and none of these celebrities bought in anybody. No one was interested in meeting them because they were false celebrities. I would say the same thing would apply to other people. There's some people you want to meet in real life. And then there's some people you're like, uh, like HQ, for instance. Um, I met him in real life one time. Nice guy. I'm sure a lot of his fans would like to meet him in real life. The mana source, I mean, think about this for a moment. Um, just think about this for a moment. So Rudy and Jeremy, they're both business owners. They have to interact. They have to socialize. I own a business. You have employees. You have vendors. You have clients. You have a lot of people you have to talk to. Every We do internships now, so that's always interesting to get kind of new blood into the system. And you have to socialize. You have to be good at talking. And a lot of you on my second channel, if you guys follow my second channel, I think I got a comment today. It's like, Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Your first channel, what's this, this channel sucks. And I, but I like your second channel and this is your real, but it's all about like socializing in person. So someone who's really good at making videos, they probably just edit it for personality. But, um, and honestly, that's probably why it takes so long for them to make videos. Cause it's not real. It's all edited. But in real life, um, the more you interact with socially, the better you become um, at talking to someone in real life. And if you look at the mana source, he lives at home. He doesn't seem to have many friends, um, real life friends. He has a lot of online friends, but
But again, that's very different. So the concept of a Magic Fest or a GP is to get people physically there, either to sell cards so they can charge vendors more money or to buy cards or to enter events. You need to physically draw people at an event. And I don't see the Mana Source doing as good of a job as Alpha Investments. And Alpha Investments, I mean, this is he's posting videos from GP Vegas 2017. That was summer 2017. We are a year and a half, and GP Vegas is still getting highlighted. They're still getting hundreds of thousands of views. And some of these videos are just... Um, they're not like super professional, but they don't need to be. It's just fun to watch them. I enjoy watching them. So the, the re it is, is appalling to me that they would not sponsor Rudy or invite him or pay for his plane ticket, his hotel, give him a stipend for meals while they'll do it for the mana source. And the, the conclusion has to be politics, right? It has to be politics because there's no other, when you look at the raw numbers, so Let's do head to head. Who brings more people, Rudy or the Mana Source, to a physical GP event? I would say Rudy by a large margin. Who would be able to make more videos about the event? I mean, this Rudy has made videos for the last year and a half on one GP. And you might say, oh, well, what's the point? The point is, whenever someone's looking to go to the next GP Vegas or the next event, they're going to look at this and they're like, oh, wow, it looks like a lot of fun. I hope Rudy will be there next year. The guy's been promoting an event for the last year and a half. Whether or not he knows that, that's what actually has been happening. So a lot of people are watching the event. They're looking at it and they're actually, you know, pretty inspired. Um, I mean, it looks like a fun time. When is the last time you saw a Manosaurus? Manosaurus has been paid and Tolarian has been paid and I know they don't like the term paid, so let me um, change the term. Compensated, okay? Don't yell at me, Tolarian, Brian. Compensated for being there. And yet, there's no videos, there's no content, there's nothing. When a dude who has not been paid to be there can produce 100 videos. What's going on with the man source? I mean, he was recently at GP Liverpool, I believe. Um, he was at Star City Con. Maybe he's been to some more conventions since he has, quote, recovered, end quote. And it's fascinating to me that, like, they don't, the Channel Fireball doesn't get it. Like, they need attendance. I think it's, I think, I think attendance can go up, uh, MTG Arena. In my own personal experience, uh, Magic is becoming more popular in my area. And I don't know if that's just in Houston, but it is trending up. Uh, maybe it's a combination of MTG Arena and being back to Ravnica. It does help when your standard set is not crap, uh, like our devastation. Which I said, a lot of YouTubers said that was a great set. Look at all this value. <laughs> I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I looked at it. For, I took one moment and look. I'm uh, just a tangent. Okay. Yeah, I took one moment, looked at the set, and said, oh my gosh, this is the worst set <laughs> expected value since uh, Dragon Maze. I immediately knew. And I said that. I said it. Um, I said it even before set release that the set sucked. Uh, anyway, back to my issue of like, I mean, he's making GP Vegas, GP Vegas, GP Vegas, um, a lot of videos. This is the ideal person that if I was Channel Fireball or Magic Fest or whoever, I would be like, this dude. Are you saying that we all we have to do is give him some money, give him a, like let's say five hundred bucks, give him a plane ticket, just give him whatever we gave Weds, and this dude's going to produce a hundred videos promoting our event for the next year and a half, and he's going to bring in a ton of people. What? Like, do you think the numbers are comparable? And and this is why when you get to politics and uh, what is it called? What is it called when you hire like a family member? I forget what that's called. Uh, but when you get into politics and hiring people, even HQ, for instance, I would argue he would bring a ton more people, a ton more people with money than uh, Wedge. And yet Wedge is the one who is sponsored. He's completely sponsored. Um, he gets, again, compensated. I, I I want to use the term paid, but for the monthly magic box, I got in trouble. You know, Brian lectured me on, you know, oh, I wasn't getting paid. I just received a free box. 
it's like, oh, okay, that's not payment of some type. Like a plane ticket is not payment. A, you know, hotel room is not payment of some type. Like I don't understand because when Magic the Gathering gives a professional Magic player a free plane ticket, it's not actually free. They don't, the Magic player has to pay taxes on that quote gift. So, all right. I mean, maybe he, they understand legality better than I do, but I think it is payment. And I would say the law is right. The law is on my side. When you receive free gifts and you don't tell people about it, naughty, naughty. Anyway, back to uh, this very weird dilemma that's happening. He Somehow he can produce this much content in one GP. Why wouldn't we send him to every GP? And then he could produce way more content. And promoting the GP in the Magic Fest. I think it is a net positive. I think the Mana Source is a net negative. Because if you talk about what the Mana Source is going there to promote. He's going there to promote himself. Maybe donations. And you know. Here Rudy has a store. So theoretically he's either going to promote someone else's store. Or he's going to promote his own store to sell Magic cards. Which means he buys Magic cards. Which is good for Wizards of the Coast bottom line. Because the more Magic cards people buy, the more money they make, no matter how the Magic cards are sold. Now, the secondary market on singles, a little different, but I'm talking about booster boxes, which I believe Rudy sells more boxes than singles by a large margin. But the Mana Source, he's going there to promote his Patreon, his GoFundMes. I mean, like, the best example I have is he literally had an $85,000 GoFundMe at GP Las Vegas. So people at the event were donating to him. So instead of spending money on that new um, table knuckle, I'll donate $2,000 to Weds. And you think that's crazy, but people have done that, right? People have, you know, instead of uh, buying, uh, doing extra side events, they decide to save their money. And you know, $85,000 is a lot of money. Um, and there's a large amount of uh, over $1,000 donations. Uh, I can tell you $1,000 is a lot for anybody, especially when you're on vacation. Imagine you go to GP Las Vegas and $1,000, in, instead you say, okay, you know, I'm not going to buy that card I really want. I'm going to donate it to Weds because I feel bad. I'm emotionally attached and I'm an emotional person. So in fact, a lot of, what is being promoted is very different. So A, the amount of people who would go to an event to see Rudy versus the Mana Source, I think is night or and day. I think w at least 10 to one for Rudy versus the Mana Source. So the people at the event, and then they will spend money. And I also think that the promotion of what they're trying to do, who they are, Rudy is a business person trying to sell you magic cards. That's the end goal. The Mana Source is trying to sell you on himself to donate. He doesn't sell magic cards. He barely can sign a card to his $75 patrons. He's in it for himself. Uh, there is not, I mean, I don't see how Wizard Coast benefits. He does he's not moving product, um, at least at that level. And then lastly, the content. The dude had, went to one GP a year and a half ago. And the number one content for MTG Fry right now during Christmas of 2018 is still his GP content that he's pushing out. And I bet you he still has more of it. Like we, I don't know if we've seen the end of it. Maybe it could be five years from now and we're still getting GP 2017, which I think is fantastic. But it also shows you that if someone's dedicated and they work hard, what can be done at a GP? Show me the mana source. The mana source has been invited and paid to go to multiple GPs. Show me in Star City Cons, which is like a GP. Show me the videos he took from there. Lazy? Not lazy? <laughs> Yum.